So like here, brothers and sisters, um, I got cut off a second ago. So yes, back to this thing, what I was saying about the vain glory, you know, um, about ourselves. It's not about us. It's about, obviously, it's all about Yahweh Basham Yahushai. He must get the, the glory. He must get everything from us, right? And is is if if we are worthy, is Yahweh Basham Yahushai that will give us the any increase, right? Which we have to be very grateful and thankful for, right? Because we don't we don't deserve anything. We don't deserve nothing, right? We deserve nothing at all because we we hurt the Most High Yahweh Basham Yahushai so much, right? That you know, and He still loves us, right? He still loves us, which is beautiful, right? So, like I said to you, you know, we need coming to this truth, right? We just have to just take off the old man, right, and renew ourselves, right? And we have to be humble. That is the main thing. We have to pray to Yahweh Basham Yahushai for meekness, for humbleness, right? Daily, right? Ask the Most High to keep the Holy Spirit within us. Like I said before, Psalms 51. Yes? Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. That's what it's all about. All the time. It's about Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. We put our hands up into the air, right? Well, you could pray anyways. In any kind of way, you could pray. You could pray in your mind. You could pray out, right? You, you, you know, you face the east. You put up your hands. But it, at the end of the day, once it's all in sincerity, right? That that zeal, you want that zeal of of um, of, of sincerity to so you could, you know, love Yahweh Basham Yahushai and, and show your sincerity to him, right? In all, in humbleness. Right, let me get some scriptures here, right? That's why I said, you know, we have to just admit our sins, admit it and acknowledge it. Keep on checking ourselves, right? Right? Because I tell you something, brothers and sisters, me personally cannot throw that first stone. I can't throw that first stone, right? And here it is now. Right, in John 8, verse 6 to, 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 to 11, right? This they said, tempting him, that they might have uh, to uh, accuse him. But Yahushai stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not. Verse 7. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin, right? I tell you that, right? I put up my hand to that. Among you, let him first cast a, fir a stone at her. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they, and they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience. Yes, because of course, right? They feel it in the spirit. Convicted, in it, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Yahushai was left alone. And the woman standing in the midst, when Yahushua had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Have no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai. And Yahushua said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. That's beautiful, right? Right. So, try not to sin no more, right? Try your best. We're in the flesh. It's impossible not to sin because we're made that way. But when we, when we acknowledge ourselves and we acknowledge our sins, we try our best to the best of our ability. Try. It's not easy to not sin, right? But what I can say in my own heart is to beg and the most high for humbleness because when you're humble, that just opens up a lot of channels. That opens up a lot of angles, righteous angles, humbleness, right? Okay, let me get our scripture here. 
So let's go to uh, sorry Matthew twenty three twelve. Matthew twenty three twelve, and it says, and whoever and who and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted right i'm going to bring up some humble you know scriptures so that was matthew ephesians 4 and 2 ephesians 4 and 2 you see you know oh, serving the most is so beautiful is hard work right but it's beautiful right ephesians 4 and 2 with all lowliness and meekness with long suffering forbearing one another in love right you see that with all low lowliness and meekness with long suffering forbearing one another in love right right so I'm going to go to um, James 1 and 21. James 1 and 21. James 1 and 21. Sometimes I just, oh. James 1 and 21. Good. Thank you, Yahushai. Yahubah Shem Yahushai. James 1 and 21. Right? Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity, right? Which means that excessiveness of naughtiness, right? And receive with meekness an engrafted word, the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls, right? Everything has to be humble, meek, calm, relaxed. Yes, um, um, you're not being carnal, right? Right, don't you know you could the most we can be angry you know, but you sin not, okay? You be angry but sin not. Um first Peter's five and six. First Peter First Peter five hold on, did I say that? First Peter five and six. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of Yahweh by Sham Yahshai that he may exalt you in due time right okay let me read on casting all your care upon him for he careth for you listen you think that you love Yahweh by Sham Yahshai he loves you a trillion trillion times more than how you love your, how you love I love myself can you fathom that you love yourself, but no, Yahweh Basham Yashai loves you a trillion times more than how you love yourself. That is very heavy, right? Um, so we go back to 2 Peter 2 and 2, right? As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby, right? If so, be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Yahweh Basham Yashai is gracious, right? I think I could bring another one here. Matthew 18. Matthew 18 and 4. Oh, this is beautiful. Whoever so therefore shall humble himself, this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Right? Right? Let me try to get this one again. Uh, Matthew 11 and 29. 11 and 29. It's not easy, brothers and sisters. It's not easy. Right? Because we're fighting with the flesh all the time. 11, 29. 11. Oops. Matthew 11. And it goes 29. Right? Take ye, take my yoke upon you. And learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. 
Oh, man, I'll tell you something, right? I am meek and lowly, right? Right? And, and the heading is, Yahweh Shai gives rest to the, he to the heavy laden. We are all heavy laden, brothers and sisters. All heavy and laden. Right, we feel that pressure, that, power, that imprisonment, daily because it's fighting with the flesh. So all I'm saying, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, beg the Most High for humbleness. I myself, I wish and pray more than anything else, along with other things, of course. But I want Yahweh, but bless, ask the Most High for humbleness, meekness. Yes, like as as mild as a as a, as, as 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 harmless as a. Uh, as harmless as a dove. Why, why does it go? So like here. Um, why is it a serpent and harmless as a dove? That's all it is. Meekness, humbleness, right? Keep low and just control our spirit. We pray for that in the name of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Thawada, Thawada, Kwam Yashorana.